What link could there possibly be between brown shrimp and healthier vegetable plants? Research shows that a compound found in shrimp peels called chitin can have a positive effect on plant growth. Nine scientific and industrial partners are figuring out just exactly how. Every year in the North Sea alone, 20,000 tons of brown shrimp are caught and eaten as a delicacy. And after peeling those shrimp, two-thirds of the peels just end up in the garbage. This trash could become a treasure, though, if processed in a certain way. Chitin is a molecule we do find in the peels of shrimp. Uh, often these peels are just thrown away, and that's a pity because chitin is a very valuable uh, molecule. Uh, you can use it like to make biodegradable plastics, but we want to use it as a growth stimulant for uh, lettuce, for tomato, and for strawberry. In this Interreg 2 Cs project, Flanders Research Institute for Agriculture, Fisheries and Food, or ILVO in Belgium, has teamed up with eight scientific partners on both sides of the channel. ILVO has developed a process to extract the chitin from shrimp peels, and they've been doing trials with chitin in lettuce and strawberry cultivation. Previous research at ILVO showed that if you add chitin to the growing medium, you stimulate the beneficial bacteria and fungi around the root of the plant. This leads to a strengthening of the plant's own defense system and also stimulates the plant's growth. We have seen that chitin is a fast-acting source of nitrogen, as more than half of the total nitrogen content can be mineralized within 100 days. This nitrogen is then available for plants for uptake. However, there were large differences between the different sources of chitin and also the effect on crops was different between tomatoes, strawberries and lettuce. So chitin can clearly become an important ingredient in growing media. If chitin can help plants to become naturally more resistant to disease, that could help reduce the need for plant protection treatments. On top of that, chitin, when properly extracted, can also replace synthetic nitrogen fertilizers. That's good news for the farmer, for our environment, and for combating climate change.